thank you for joining me. So for the sugar-free turtles, you're going to need some pecans. I got some raw ones and I put them in the oven 400 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes to crisp them up and toast them. And I'm using Lily's dark ch chocolate baking chips. I use a double boiler method to melt the chocolate. No sugar added. We'll also need about a cup of caramel sauce, sugar-free. I'm going to show you how to make that right now. You're going to need one half cup of Splenda granular sugar replacement, half a cup of heavy cream, three tablespoons of Swerve brown sugar replacement, one teaspoon of vanilla, one stick of unsalted butter, and a pinch of salt. Melt the butter on medium-low heat. Add the brown sugar replacement, and you want to mix this in here really good. Now this step is very important. It's kind of what makes everything stick together, so don't skip this step. The key to this recipe is to stir and stir and stir and stir. Now you're going to add the Splenda, a little at a time, mix it in, and then add a little bit more. Mix it in. If you add it all at once, it'll be one big lump. Now we want to stir and stir, and we want to bring this to a nice little bubbly simmer. Add a dash of salt. Keep stirring. It's going to get a little thin. That's okay. Just keep stirring. Now that it's bubbling, you want to add all your cream at once and you want to mix this really good. Just stir and stir and stir. You want to keep stirring and you want to bring this back to a bubbly simmer. You want to see bubbles coming up to the top. Now that you see the bubbles coming to the top, you want to stir and simmer for two more minutes. Now we're going to add our teaspoon of vanilla, mix it in real good, and we're going to simmer and bubble for another minute. Keep stirring. Now it's all bubbly. It starts to get a little thicker like this. You're going to remove it from the heat and keep stirring it. And we're going to stir for a few seconds just to make sure it keeps that nice texture as it cools off, off the heat. It's important because you don't want the butter to separate from the sugar replacement. Now we're going to transfer to a glass bowl. And we're going to keep stirring until this stops steaming. We don't want any steam rising off of it. All right, and there's our caramel sauce. And we're going to set this to the side while we set up for our turtles. And now we're going to take a little scooper and plop some rounds of chocolate, melted chocolate, right here onto the parchment paper. You want to give them a little space between them. As we put our nuts and caramel on there, they're going to kind of spread out some. I'm going to take my pecan halves and I'm going to put three of them right down into the chocolate. Just kind of smush them in there. And if you don't have halves, you just have a bunch of crushed ones, just pile them right on there. As long as they touch the melted chocolate, they'll kind of stick to it. Now I take this caramel sauce that we made, a little spoon, about a half teaspoon or so, and plop it right on top of those nuts and chocolate. Now I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them in the freezer for about 20 minutes. There we go. Take a little bit of the leftover chocolate that I have in the bottom of my pan and 
just kind of flick it over the top, make them look pretty, gives them a little extra chocolate kick. Well, thank you for joining me today. Please like and subscribe the video and join me anytime at BoardPrincess.com.